So we do have the lovers and we have the eight of cups. Gemini energy, but somebody might have walked away from you. Eight of cups is the energy of goodbyes. And the lovers is the energy, you know, they took your heart with them. We do have the uh, the moon, might be a Pisces. And again, eight of cups. Can also be shadows. Can be also about emotions. And we do have new beginnings. And we do have the moon again. Maybe a Pisces you are dealing with and somebody here longs for new beginnings. Can also be emotions, right? We are done with overwhelming emotions and we need we need a new energy and now we got the moon twice. Are you kidding me? Oh, please, universe, you know? I'm not in, in the mood for funny. Um, you know, but um, yeah, the moon. It's about all about emotions, right? Or a Pisces all over the own energy. I'm just saying. And it's about shadows, right? This is the energy of the moon. Dark night of the soul, not knowing, hidden. Bottom of the deck commitment. Are you kidding me? It's like double cards. I'm just saying. So Leo, you do have wisdom twice. So somebody went through quite a situation and we are coming out with a lot of wisdom out of it. Uh, but it's commitment. It's interesting. Probably you are committed to each other. Um, and it's the second week of April. So probably commitment is coming out. For some of you, this is marriage, right? This is long-term commitment this is really living with somebody under the same roof and and um you know the wedding bells and and the kids and all that kind of energy i'm just saying we had the moon twice and the uh, hierophant twice so i don't know if somebody has a uh, fear of commitment can be uh, and because it's twice is it like you are afraid to commit to this person or they are and they are afraid to commit to you you know we'll see um, I'm just saying, you know, the universe is only speaking in doubles today. So let's see what's going on. Let, let us have a little bit of insight here. So Leo, past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual energies. Oh, of course we had something. <clears throat> we have, we have justice and the three of swords. Um, some decision, right? Some painful decision. Justice is um, the final decision, actually. can be about legalities and divorce and that kind of energy. And somebody got hurt in the process. can also be about um, the karma and justice being um, at the end of, of the day, it is in your favor. And commitment is in your favor. Or maybe after a period of hurt, somebody is all about commitment, actually. Um, and justice and balance, balance and making things right by you or by them, however this applies to you. Um, so the current energy is on your side, the person you are dealing with. And mutual energies, that card wanted to come out, so it's okay. Now let's see the possible outcome for the second week of April, as you always have free will and you always have to use a better judgment, Leo. Mutual energy, would we get three? Three of Wands, Partnership and Alliances. This is the energy of waiting, Three of Wands, but in this deck is actually uh, putting your hands together with this person and building something, right? A partnership or a, an alliance of some sort. Uh, maybe you work with this person for some of you. So let me tell you how I simply adore the overall energy. And of course, we could stop the reading here. Um, Three of Swords some unsolved conflict, some unsolved um, heartbreak. And now we have justice, right? So I don't know exactly because somebody is about, for some of you, you might be going through uh, divorce battles and struggles like that. But we do have twice the card of commitment. So I don't think this is it actually. On the contrary, it is about balance and justice in a committed relationship, something where both people you want to commit actually um leo that's the overall energy now in the past we do have the three of pentacles and we do have the three of cups three of pentacles is the energy of teamwork of building a life together with this person working 
um, is the energy of being um, committed to somebody and three of cups is the energy of celebration the energy of um, friendship um, is the energy of cups and emotions the energy of wanting reconciliation with this person and three of swords three of pentacles three of cups does look like a third party situation for some of you I mean we have it three times I mean you know universe is pretty precise today Maybe because of that third party, maybe somebody is not willing to commit or is um, fearful of commitment because we do have shadows, right? A couple of times. So it might be this energy of, um, you know, because we went through loss and heartache and the energy what we pulled from the past is exactly this um, commitment, this relationship with somebody. And for some of you, it's a real marriage. I mean, Hierophant twice is like a solid commitment that went wrong. Um, and finally we see a resolution, a positive one, right? I do love the joy that you brought to the table. Three of Cups is a very friendly energy and kind, you know, it's the energy of celebrations and let's not, um, you know, let's not um, make a big fuss about it. And the Three of Pentacles is the energy of building something very solid. Now the person you are dealing with, um, we do have uh, Temperance, Sagittarius, and we do have um, Death, Scorpio energy. Um, but, um, you know, they might um, have ended it. This is the energy of um, transforming a connection. Maybe uh, in the past this person said, you know what, um, this has to stop here because the Death card is, uh, the Death energy is quite abrupt. It's, um, you know, um, it's the energy of a split second, you know, it's the energy of somebody disappearing, right? It's the energy of ghosting, it's the energy of boom, it's gone, you know? Um, for some of you, you might have said, you know, uh, to this person, not with this energy, but because death is on their side and transformation, they, they might have transformed in the past. Maybe it was you saying, no, thank you. And through this or through the process, somebody got transformed. That's a transformation. And they might have been very patient about this, you know. Uh, but it's a dark energy. And I love it. Um, I love the combination, right? Because one, it's um, a transformation, a transformative energy. And it's one that it hurts, right? Shed some skin. To, um, you know, um, you have to go through an awakening to transform, actually. And probably this is what happened to them. Um, but I do love the temperance energy, right? Because it's from a place of patience, from a place of healing, from a place of compromise, um, of kindness, of combining differences. And it's always, you know, um, um, kind of um, one step at a time kind of energy. And mutual energies. I mean, the universe is funny today. I swear to God. Um, mutual energies between the two of you, we do have the judgment and we have the temperance again. The universe is so funny. Um, because we get a lot of doubles, right, um, Leo? Um, so we do have the judgment, right? Somebody made a decision, somebody made a judgment call. Um, and um, I don't know if you are dealing with the Sagittarius. It's a strong energy in this reading and we just started, so... Um, I'm just saying, um, if not, it took a lot of patience in regards to the truth between the two of you. Um, this is an energy of maybe what stood between you and this person was the other person and also the truth or the judgment or a decision of some sort, right? Um, a judgment call or somebody said, you know, somebody and it can be the person you are dealing with again, such that you Sagittarius, Scorpio, Libra, and Taurus energy so far. And they might have said, you know what, um, let's put this. It's, it's a lot of put on hold, but it's um, also uh, paired with the energy of judgment, which is the energy of awakening. Judgment and the death card is a lot of, of awakening and somebody went through a process patiently. Um, yeah, this is how it feels. And a lot of hurt and judgment and justice does look like a divorce over here um so for some of you leo maybe you have um you know you went through a divorce with this person in the past and it's still hurting but this is so not over i mean 
uh, the Hierophant twice with the um, Temperance twice. There is a lot of healing of a commitment of some sort of a relationship uh, that has a lot of potential that is solid. I mean, twice the Hierophant that you, you cannot have more committed. Um, so it's kind of, it feels like uh, committed to make it work. And of course you show up here and I simply love you Leo because right now we are in the uh, lion power kind of energy. We do have the strength. It's the energy of power for this one and also we do have the four of pentacles. Uh, this is the energy of holding on to this person, wanting to build firm foundations and from a place of course of power of strength and we might um, be attracted to this person. We know how the strength is all about. Lust is all about, um, you know, pleasures. So, um, of the of the mind and of the body. So, just saying. Um, but we don't take shortcuts, right? Four of Pentacles is like holding on to somebody for your dear life, right? And probably about real love here. Um, now the person you are dealing with, we do have six of swords, somebody needs peace of mind and um, seven of wands. They might be blocking right now. Um, this is the energy of, um, right? Six of swords is walking away, turning their back on something and uh, needing to um, some space, some time. And also a little bit defensive, I would say. Seven of wands, fighting their own battles and their own struggles. Um, or walking away from a situation that is quite challenging to them right now. Can be personal. And here we have repeat cards. I mean, right? Um, Leo, the energy between you and this person. We do have the judgment again. We do have the Ace of Cups and we have the Eight of Swords. Um, in love but trapped in fear, right? Leo, on your side. Well, this is mutual energies, but you both have right in common as, as energies around you and this connection um so it is a decision i believe somebody might be afraid to make a decision eight of swords is the energy of the mental prison is the energy of seeing obstacles is the energy of uh, being unable to move um, and it has something to do with the truth that is a truth about love that somebody might be way trapped in fear um you know to speak about we have trapped in fear Eight of Cups. So yeah, we have a cup. What's right between you and this person? It is actually a possibility of new beginning, starting new reconciliation with the judgment. But boy, it comes with the world of fear. Now moving forward, Leo, we do have the, the Hermit. This is Virgo energy and um, the universe. So whatever period of solitude will be over. I mean, it is here, solitude and the uh, the world. This is about happy endings and uh, whatever energies in retreat you had on your side. I believe we might coming we might be coming back to life uh, in the second week of April, right? That's energy here. Um, and because it's about happy endings, it is also about finding a solution to whatever solitude you feel right now, where it's um, somehow invading your space over here. Now we do have the, the person you are dealing with. They do have the nine of wands and um, the nine of pentacles. Something is almost over. It not It's not just yet a 10. It is nine. Nine of wands is the wounded warrior and actually quite uh, persevering. And nine of pentacles. This is the energy of, um, you know, being um, focused on themselves, on their own, um, financial well-being if we can say their um, health this is nine of pentacles being single or uh, working towards fighting towards because somebody is moving away from something here um, you know and being quite determined here they this is an energy of struggle and needing peace of mind and um, nine of wands is in this deck is the energy of spiritual strength so I'm just saying and material harvest but I'm I'm sensing they are close to something. Nine is not a ten just yet. Mutual energy is between you and this person. A lot of missing. We do have the five of cups, emotional loss. This is um, the remorse and the guilt. Um, but I'm sensing more is um, the energy of missing each other. 
we do have the five of pentacles this is the energy of uh changes and challenges five of cups five of pentacles right we are somebody feels um actually um quite down i would say because of the separation and the longing and uh, the changes and the hangman both changing your perspective about this you know um and it's a, it's quite an energy right both of you you are hurt but i i do love the overall energy that it was whatever it was um leo with this person and yourself and the and the uh, energy between the two of you the energy flow we do love the wisdom right and i'm um i'm quite sure it came for both of you in some way a deeper understanding of some sort it comes with uh, painful lessons because we do have the three of swords uh, combined with the wisdom we learned the hard way i guess um whatever was to be uh, to be learned um wow this is intense right um okay so let's ask for some guidance we we have one card that completely flipped and it is surrender to non-action and it says now is the time to be still and not act simply breathe and focus on your own power let others come to you i'm just saying the universe is funny today surrender your addictions whether you're addicted to substances, food, people, sex, or overworking, take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives. So I don't know what addictions you have, Leo, but something we need to um, focus less on. Addictions is about obsessive behavior too, right? Wanting somebody, way too much. Surrender to spirit. Once, once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal turn the situation over to the divine let spirit work its magic for you you have two cards of non-action leo and we do have surrender comparison with other people keep your eyes trained on yourself focus on your own strength attractiveness and power and let's have another guardian angel just one and then we say goodbye We do have the lovers and it says open your heart allow love to grow and bloom all around you you've waited for this emotional fulfilling experience for such a long time and now the time has come make your choices by listening to your heart and then following the steps you're guided to take joy will lead you to a vibrant and healthy life um well the love and commitment is all over this reading but there is also a lot of hurt for some of you. So um, I don't know. What do you say? We have non-action. We have surrendered to spirit. Also non-action. Stop comparing yourself with others. Deal with addictions. And then love is on the table. So let's stay still, I would say. Sylvia, my beautiful you, you know I love you, right? I wish you nothing but the best. Um, as always, please let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.